Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and quite a few people have asked me, uh, even more recently, how can I move information from my iPhone to my Android phone or from my Android phone to my iPhone, such as contacts and photos and everything else without having to use iTunes or is there a way to do it after everything's set up without resetting it and restoring from a backup? So I've partnered with Wondershare to show you how we can do that and they've sponsored this video so I can show you Dr. Phone and there is unfortunately no easy or free way to do this but you can try this for free to see if it works for you. Now here's Dr. Phone and you can see it's pretty simple and straightforward and they have different modules within them. So we have switch. This is the one we're going to take a look at. And then after you've switched your phone, we could permanently erase it if you wanted to with this module, but let's go ahead and go to switch. We'll click on that and we'll wait for it to open. And it's pretty simple and self explanatory or straightforward. So you can see on the left, it says source and on the right, it says destination. And then in the middle has everything we would want to move over. So the first thing we need to do is plug in our phones. So I'll take the lightning cable. I have it plugged into my computer. So we'll take the lightning cable, plug it in. And of course I'll leave this wallpaper for you. So you can see it's plugged in on my computer here. Now, as it's reading the iPhone, and it will take quite a while to do that, and that's okay, but while it's reading the iPhone, we can plug in the other phone that we want. So here I have a OnePlus 7 Pro. We'll go ahead and plug this one in. So we'll go ahead and just plug it in. It does have to be in USB debugging mode to do this. You can turn that on afterwards. You can see debugging, allow, that's fine. And now it's connecting on the software. So once it pops up, it's incredibly easy to use. And that's probably the best thing about this software is it's, it's pretty straightforward. So you can see here in the middle, it says select content to copy. So contacts, contact blacklist. So maybe you've already blocked a bunch and you don't want to have to reblock them when you move from your old phone to your new phone, it will do that. Of course, it will move text messages, call logs, your calendars, reminders, alarms, bookmarks, voicemail, your wallpaper, ringtones, voice memos, photos, music, videos, even Safari history notes and apps. Now this is going to vary depending on what device you're moving it to. So if you're not moving from an iPhone to an iPhone or anything like that, and this will allow you to move from an iPhone to an iPhone after you've already set it up without the backup part. So it's really nice. So we'll wait for this to, to finish and then we'll take a look at it. Now it took a little while to actually scan my iPhone 10 R, but now that it's scanned, it has everything from contacts to contact blacklist, text messages, call logs, and these text messages go back to what was in iCloud. So it's not even necessarily on the phone. So maybe it took a while to actually wait for it to download, but voicemail, wallpaper, and even alarms. So let's go ahead and move over a couple things. Uh, we'll move over the contact blacklist, Maybe we'll move over some reminders and the alarms and maybe some bookmarks. And then we'll go ahead and hit start transfer. Now on the OnePlus 7 Pro, we have to hit OK or yes, click yes. And now it's going to move all of that data over. It says it's going to take less than three minutes. So we'll wait for it to finish. Now everything's completed. It successfully transferred what I wanted. So let's take a look at the OnePlus 7 Pro and see if it actually has my alarms. So we'll go into the alarm here. And I tested this a little bit earlier and I was worried that this would happen, but it duplicated everything, but that's okay. We know that it works and I can just delete these, but you can see it's matching all of the same alarms here on the right as it is on the left. Of course, we can bring over all the other things if we want to, everything from reminders to bookmarks to call logs. Now that's it for the Dr. Phone Switch. They also have a bunch of other products within Dr. Phone, such as Backup and Restore. You can unlock your phone's lock screen if you forgot your password. Uh, you may have to wipe the device, but you can repair iOS, permanently erase data, and you can just wipe your phone. So maybe you transferred it, you wanna get ready to sell your iPhone XR or something like that. You can erase the phone very simply and just wipe it. And I'm not going to do that, of course, I, but you can erase private data, erase the full data and everything. So you can 
completely securely wipe it. So that's really nice. Dr. Phone is kind of built in modules so you can buy the full thing or just parts of it, but you can try it for free and see if it works for you. And of course I'll link you to their website here. See it's drphone.wondershare.com. Very simple and straightforward. You can try it out on windows or Mac and see if it works for you. So again, thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video and let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you've used it or if you've used another solution. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.